Let me take this across to Kamaljit Sandhu, who's joining us live from Amritsar. She's been getting us all the latest updates on this big story. Kamaljit, at this point, Amritpal Singh is declaring this to be a huge personal victory. And why won't he? Every threat, every dare, every violent threat that he issued to the cops, it's resulted in him getting what he wants, not in his arrest, but in his aid being released from jail. And now both were being told are on their way to Golden Temple. Amid this, not a word from Chief Minister Man. He's in Mumbai. I think it's a deliberate choice by the Ahmadi Party government not to make any uh, communication on this. Uh, it's very strategic because remember, Bhagwan Man has been addressing the press as far as uh, uh, the investor summit is concerned, and this is obviously uh, something contrary because that was in Mohali and this is in Ajnala, and finally moving over to Amritsar. Uh, however, Amrit Pal is on a huge victory march. Uh, just behind me, this is where uh, the police has now been deployed. Uh, but Amrit Pal and his aides are coming and they're going to be marching towards uh, the Golden Temple. And obviously, uh, this is obviously a sign of victory as far as Amrit Pal is concerned. Because he had kept an ultimatum and it was Punjab police who bowed down. Remember, Gaurav Yadav, the DGP, has just spoken in a press statement, has also said that they were carrying Guru Granth Sahib and that is why the action by Punjab police uh, wasn't the one which was expected. The other part is obviously about how uh, the, the, the protesters are now being identified who had actually turned violent. Uh, these are signs uh, that all is not really well in the state of Punjab uh, because remember warning signs coming in, red flags being raised by intelligence agencies. And meanwhile, Amrit Pal Singh showing up at a point of juncture where uh, the, the border state of Punjab is at a crucial juncture. And this is where uh, what is wanted is uh, a strict action should be taken. Uh, but yes, as far as Amrit Pal is concerned, uh, he's turned the tables around because he's not only questioning uh, the Bhagwant Man government, he's also challenging the authority, not just of Punjab police, but Punjab government as well. Uh, so Bhagwant Man government will have to act. Yeah. Remember, we'll have to see in the coming days whether there would be any sort of action as the DGP is mentioning uh, that there would be. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about what the DGP is saying, Kamaljit, but I want to understand from you on what basis was Lafri Tufan let off so easily? That in one hour of Amrit, Amrit Pal Singh demanding it, the cops said, we don't want his custody, he's innocent, we'll release him. Uh, well, you know, these kind of things usually takes hours and days and uh, here uh, just a one hour ultimatum actually did the thing uh, because uh, this particular incident of uh, beating up and kidnapping took place on 15. Uh, the name of Lafri Tufan came up uh, immediately in the FIR on the 16th. Uh, that is when uh, there was a subsequent arrest. Meanwhile, Amrit Pal and his supporters stormed the Ajnala police station and that is where the stir really happened. Uh, but with the ultimatum, he also, what we've been told by the police is also that he came up with the evidence. Uh, there was an alibi that he was not present in Ajnala. He was very much present in Barnala. And now let's just try and show you the visuals out here about how uh, this victory marches proceedings because there are drums out there. Uh, there are obviously now that you can see uh, the first set of supporters now really coming in, uh, wielding sticks that we saw earlier. Uh, this is obviously one of the victory marches which is now proceeding forward. And uh, here is a police. Now just we'll just pan out, show you police. And this is where the victory march of Amrit Pal right here happening. And behind this, if the camera person pans again and show you, uh, these are the swords and the vehicle. Uh, we're showing you a great sense of what is really happening. And then the drums coming in. Uh, so this is on the ground. Uh, the tensions may have diffused, but this is again an indication that the radicals usually here have a free hand. And that is where now all of them proceeding towards uh, the Golden Temple. And remember, uh, they started a while back. And there uh, you can see uh, on, on the vehicle uh, Amrit Pal there. Uh, this is where he is. Uh, now addressing and obviously certain onlookers. So this is clearly a victory march of sorts for him. And remember, this is where he's been stopping in between. The guns, can you see the guns out here? Uh, the, and there is also Punjab police, his men carrying lathis. And this is obviously a pomp and show, but clearly going in with the number of people out here. So this is where the victory march is headed.
they are celebrating. Kamalji, these men behind you are celebrating that all of their threats, all of their dares to the cops has worked. And that's why they are able to carry out this kind of a rally with the cops just standing by and watching as they travel around with their swords. If there is a breakdown of law and order in Amritsar, who is answerable? Because clearly the cops right now are just buckling and giving in to any demand that these Khalistanis put forth. And there are serious questions right now where Punjab is headed if this is going to be the situation. And Chief Minister Bhagwat Man maintains the silence that he has at this point. With so much happening in Amritsar, the Chief Minister has left for Mumbai for his schedule. Yeah, Kamaljit. Uh, so, if we try and show you a sense, uh, Punjab police is very much around. They were, in fact, tracking Lafpreet as well as Amritpal. Uh, but the situation, uh, there has to be a direction which comes in from the top. And remember, even though they're saying they will identify the protesters which were led by Amritpal, there is a clear indication that there could be an escalation. But what is the red line which needs to be drawn is something to be decided both by the DGP as well as by the, uh, as the Punjab government. Uh, so there it is, if you can see, uh, there is uh, an anti-riot uh, gear police uh, deployment uh, all along the way, but we are hoping that the situation may be diffused. But this could only be a temporary truce, because remember, there could be a fresh uh, escalation somewhere else, because once this has been breached, the radicals will time and again test the patience of security forces of, of, of the police and of the government. And remember, uh, with the statements being made by Amrit Pai at this point of time, clearly suggests uh, that he's been upping the ante. And meanwhile, what we see is a silence from the Ahmadi Party government in Punjab.